Okay, guys, a quick overview of the Real Link Lumos app. Pretty simple to use, as you can see here. There's the image with the watermark logo from Real Link, date and time. And also here, sometimes you can see an icon for motion detection. And here is the camera name. You can change the position of the name, the date, and everything else here. You can pause and continue with the video, live video here in this case, and also here, audio live. Okay, now audio is coming from the camera live. I can mute again. Here, I just take a picture and goes to the album that I have here. I just come here and I select the album here and I can see the picture that I just took from the camera. Pretty simple to use, okay, back here to the camera. I can do the same with video. I just click here and start recording video. You can see here the detail. It's recording right now. And I can stop. Of course, it's recording all the time in the SD card, but I can also record uh, whenever I want. And I just click here and comes to the, uh, to the album the same way. I come back here and album. And then I can see here there is something recorded. Okay, so I can play it. Pretty simple, pretty good quality of the recordings and everything else because this camera is pretty good. Back here, uh, I can change from low, low resolution to 1080p, okay? And also I can come here and go full screen so I can invert my cell phone. And here, the menu, I can turn on the spotlight, the siren, and also change here to view of the camera that I have connected to my system here using real link. I have four cameras in total here. I can see all of them at the same time. So I'm just come back here and see more details that I have. I have channel selection. So channel selection, I can choose all the camera that I have and I can come back here to Lomos and I can do also day and night control directly from here. Let me just, just leave in auto, it's better the way. Immersive, I can see all of the camera at the same time. If I'm using a lot of cameras, sometimes I can have a problem with the network like this, okay? But if I just try to reload it, I can reload the camera. But that's because I'm using a lot of cameras at the same time. And something also interesting here is the picture in picture. So I can see here the picture, I can move, put it in the different places, and it's pretty easy, pretty interesting. Come back to the normal mode, and here I can play back something that I have recorded. As you can see here, I just choose the date, I have different dates recorded, I can see here. And then I have this menu that's pretty interesting, as you can see here, I'm moving. Here is this is small squares, and I can see uh, that something is moving here, positioning the time that was recorded, okay? And I just click one of them, it brings the recording. It's pretty easy to control this. And if I wanted to export a video, I just come here and click this icon here. Let me just click it. You see, I'm going to record this part, and I can adjust if I want to export a little bit less then I click here and I download to my folder pretty easy to do this I can also share and if I come back here I can see on my album the one that I exported okay as you can see pretty fast to do this I just go there I select it and I adjust the time that I want to export and I get it done Pretty easy, okay. And let me show now a little bit of the menu. So we have a lot of different options, starting here with the camera details. You have the device info here. You see firmware, version, and everything else. And network, I can choose the network here. I can switch. Let's say, for example, I wanna switch from the main network to another one. I have different networks here that I can switch to. Pretty interesting, other cameras doesn't have this feature, you have to reset the camera and start over. That's not the case here, you can just switch the network, pretty simple. And display, you can control, you can rotate the display, 
it's upside down now. It can also change the quality here for the clear and for the fluent, change the resolution and frame rate for both of them. Anti-flicker, so it doesn't flick your screen. You have 60 hertz, 50 hertz, depending where you live, or auto. And day and night, I always leave an auto here, and when it's night, it changes to the night function. Camera name, so I can change the name here and the position, okay? On the top, on the center, whatever I want to, to move the name here. And the same with the date, I can change the position of, of the date here in this screen and also remove the reeling watermark or bring it back. You see, it's back. Privacy mask, pretty interesting also. I can draw mask here and I can cover the area so it doesn't record what's behind the area. It records, but the privacy mask is there, right? You can't see. And here have uh, auto noise, mirroring, menu, some advanced stuff that I can play with. And it's pretty uh, easy to just navigate here and understand what you're going, what you have to do with the display, for example. And here, let's see more motion detection. So you can adjust zones. You can uh, select here the zones that you don't want to receive alerts about. And I can also erase or just delete all. And then you save and just hit cancel here because. I'm not saving those changes. You can also adjust the sensitivity here, okay? What else I have here? I have push notification, motion recording. I can record on SD card, for example, and also in the cloud, pretty simple. Push notification, so I can receive notification on my cell phone and email alerts. I configure my email here. I can receive alerts from the camera. Siren, if somebody it's closer to the camera and uh, it's, there is some motion. I can have a custom sound here or a default sound. I can record some sound here and say, hey, uh, get out of here, for example, or something like that. I can just record five seconds message. Okay, and let me just turn it off because I don't want to scare people. You can also share the camera with this QR code, somebody just scan your code here and you can share your camera. And then the and set is here, using management, you can create your users and can uh, manage your users here. Uh, infrared, I always leave my infrareds on, but you can put it off if you want to. And also the spotlight is the same, you can turn it on or off automatically or you can do manually, okay? And the status LED of the camera. So if, if you don't want to show the status LED on the camera, you can just turn it off here. So pretty easy. Okay, you can also delete the camera here so you don't show it anymore. Pretty easy to use here and it's pretty intuitive the way you can use this app and it works for Reolink Lumos and for the other cameras from Reolink.